Hello and welcome uh, to this new course on design practice 2. It is uh, the part 2 of the course which was taught in the last semester. Uh, this particular course as uh, you know uh, being later in the series is uh, more focused towards uh, the engineering side or the technical side of design. So, there are going to be topics uh, which should be related to how does uh, the back end processing for computer aided designing uh, work in terms of uh, complex curve fitting exercises or uh, how different models particularly surface models or uh, 3D models are constructed. Uh, there is going to be a sub substantial portion dedicated to sensors and the way you design sensors. Uh, what are the requirements for example, starting from the industry all the way to some basic fabrication technologies which can be put together to realize something which is useful and important. Uh, focus would be meant particularly in the area of aerospace sensors or uh, automotive sensors. So, a lot of uh, requirement driven sensorial um, layout uh, which is important for the people who are professionals in the industry or even students to understand would be treated in this particular course. Uh, there is also a section on control systems engineering as well as embedded systems. Uh, we can talk about particularly MEMS based systems where let us say RF MEMS uh, devices etcetera would give you an idea about how embedded systems are uh, put into practice in real life applications. Uh, there are also going to be some <laughs> illustrations uh, on basic uh, mechanical engineering paradigm of mechanisms design and uh, mechanisms workability with uh, some emphasis on basic uh, understanding of the, the mechanistic part of solids and how that goes into uh, the mechanisms design. So, uh, design practice one which we did in the last semester was more related to uh, how to map the customer thought process or the process of the design. Design practice two is intended to design into uh, or, or get into the hardcore part, uh, the engineering part particularly of uh, on the product design. So, uh, the, the course is intended for people who are beginners in the area of design, uh, people who are industry practitioners and who would be interested into the specifics related to uh, some industries. Uh, the aspects that would be covered here are uh, going to help to realize uh, or design new systems, new products. So, I as such welcome all of you to this course design practice 2 and hope you have a productive time of learning uh, with me. Thank you very much.